I guess I, I like to briefly explain a little bit about the Aikido technique so you can understand a little bit of what's going on. In Aikido, for instance, if he's grabbing my hand, the object in Aikido is not to push against him or pull against him because if I push, he just push. If I push him, he just pushes back. If I'm pulling, he's just pulling back. So we're just kind of struggling back and forth. Okay? And naturally, the person who's stronger, faster, younger has the advantage. He's stronger, faster, younger than me, so I don't have a chance, you know. And while I'm struggling here, I don't know what his free hand is doing or kick is coming. His friend coming, one person, two people, three people, we don't know. So I really can't stay here to struggle. In Aikido, the object is not to struggle or try to overcome his force. The idea is to agree with his force. So if it's coming towards me like this, I don't want it to come into me because that's just going to throw me off balance. So if there's a way to direct the force someplace else, that's to my advantage. The object is not to try to make a strong force resisting him, but to lead his force very gently where he's off balance. Then he goes that way. If I take his hand just, there's one point where he still has his balance. You don't have to worry. If he's pushing me, I can't stay here because I don't want to be pushed over and if I get knocked down or something then I, I'm in trouble. So the idea, not how to collide or try to resist his power as it is to just agree with it. If I'm not here, if I move in the direction that he's moving, then I don't feel his impact or I don't feel his attack. So in Aikido there's a lot of giving and taking which we have to learn in the training which we also apply to our daily life. It's not so much to try to resist him as it is to just let him go. Of course, if I take him, brush his hand down, now I'm out of his attack, but any, of course, any time I can strike, that, that's not a problem. If he's grabbing, any time I can kick, but it's not nice to kick. For instance, if he's choking, don't, don't. He can choke, I still have to talk. So if he's choking like this, if I struggle, just a couple seconds, I'm someplace else, I'm not here anymore. The object is not how to struggle against it, as to find some way to, to blend with his power. And it naturally comes up. If I struggle to try to bring it up, it's hard. If I bring the hand to myself, very easy, very easy. But if I try to move his hand, now it's a big problem. But it's very easy to move my hand. And if I move my hand, he goes with it. Then it's just like taking off a sweater. Don't turn off my microphone. He naturally comes off. Why don't you choke the side? So the object is, in Aikido is not how to fight. Actually, ultimately, martial arts doesn't teach how to fight. It teaches how not to fight. And that's what we misunderstand in martial arts today. So in a world of fighting, we create more fighting. That's not real martial arts. That just is a road to destruction. Aikido is to create a path of non-fighting to eliminate fighting. So ultimately in Aikido, shouldn't be any more Aikido either. Uh, uh, so I can demonstrate some